Oh, speak to me. Sorry. I knew you'd stop here before leaving town. I'm getting predictable. Later than I thought, though. Roscoe's not easy to walk away from, huh? Thank you. So feds are freaking out because of Bakar's involvement and all. They want to interview you. What'd you tell them? That they'll never find you. But they're still in town down by the warehouse, and you kind of stand out, so. I'll be gone as soon as we're done here. Good. Smart. Listen, I'm not big on goodbyes, you know, and I'm sure you're not either, but if you hadn't come to Margrave, I would have never figured out what was going on or I would have wound up dead. Well, you would have figured it out eventually. I appreciate that. And then you would have wound up dead. <laughs> you may be an animal, but deep down you're all right. You may be an uptight pain in the ass, but you're all right, too. And a hell of a cop. Oh, not for long. I'm down with police work. Boston? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna stay here for a few weeks, help Roscoe get things in order, and then I'm going home. Uh, time to stop spinning. Stop running away, you know? Sharon would want me to live a life. And not live it alone. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm ready to take care of someone again. Besides, I couldn't leave Jack in the shelter. Jack? Yeah, he needed a name and you weren't using it, Reacher, so Jack it is. You know I shouldn't be the only one shaking up his snow globe. There are more people out there like Roscoe and I than you think. You should try letting them in sometime. Noted. Okay, well, as one of my last official acts as chief detective... You were fired. I did, man, so I didn't stick. So, as one of my last official acts as chief detective, I need to right a wrong that took place at this very spot about a week and a half ago. Slice of peach. Best in Georgia. Thank you. You're gonna eat that? It's got sugar and fat, you know? Shut up, eat your damn pie. So, worth the wait? I've had better. It's bravery to solve the world's problems, too, Joe.